Welcome to Sunday School for Sunday, October 6, 2024. For our senior high students, ages 15 to 17, I do not own the rights to this music. Today's Bible basis is coming out of Job chapter 19, verses 1 through 7, and then verses 23 through 29. The Bible truth, even so my Redeemer lives. The title of today's story, Hope in Misery. Joshua bought a paper from the woman selling them outside the pharmacy near his school. He had a way about him, and he liked having conversations with homeless people. He felt like no one paid them as much attention outside of the police. He genuinely enjoyed hearing their stories. As he talked to Wanda, she asked him why he always stopped to talk. Like you don't have a class to get to or something, she said. I know your parents didn't send you to that school to talk to people like me. One day, Joshua told her his response. I can relate, said Joshua. You can, she asked, clearly surprised. You've been homeless before, young man. No, ma'am. So how is it that you can relate? My mother struggled for six years when my father left. Right after she had my little brother, it was three of us, but it might as well have been 13. She couldn't keep it together. What happened? asked Wanda as she made eye contact with other customers going in and out of the store. She sold a paper while Joshua was there. She took us to my uncle's place and we live with him. That was nice of him to take you three in. I wish I had family like that. He was nice, but he couldn't take my mother. Only me and my brother. Where'd your mother go? I don't know. She won't talk about it. Neither will my uncle. The woman looked stunned and slumped a bit. We lived for two years seeing mama every three weeks or so. She looked worse each time we saw her. I could tell that she hated that. She missed me playing in the big game because the bus she was on broke down. She didn't have a phone. She was standing at the door when we left the court, crying and apologizing, but I thought she was the greatest person in the world. Our lesson scripture, Job chapter 19, verses 1 through 7, and then verses 23 through 29. Then Job answered and said, How long will ye vex my soul and break me in pieces with words? These ten times have ye reproached me. Ye are not ashamed that ye make yourselves strange to me. And be it indeed that I have erred, my error remaineth with myself. If indeed you will magnify yourselves against me, and plead against me my reproach, know now that God hath overthrown me, and hath come past me with his net. Behold, I cry out of wrong, but I am not heard. I cry aloud, but there is no judgment. Oh, that my words were now written! Oh, that they were printed in a book! that they were graven with an iron pen and led in the rock forever. For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God, whom I shall see for myself, and my eyes shall behold, and not another, though my reins be consumed within me. But ye should say, Why persecute we him, seeing the root of the matter is found in me? Be afraid of the sword, for wrath bringeth the punishment of the sword, that ye may know there is a judgment. Many scholars think Job was the earliest book of scripture to be written. It is definitely a very old book and contains wisdom in our lesson scripture for learning how to listen to others and for how we can approach God in honesty and hope. The poetry in Job's words can give us anchors of trust and anchors of faith. We have his response to his accusers and his response to his Redeemer. He corrects his accusers. He seeks to reignite his faith for his God. He knows that he will see God and notice God. Students' Responses The questions from our story today. Number one, have you ever talked to a homeless person? If so, did they tell you anything about themselves? Number, number two, how did Joshua's background make him sensitive to Wanda? Number three, what do you think of the interaction between these two?
Number four, how might Joshua's compassion for others be deepened by Wanda and vice versa? The questions from our lesson text. Number one, how do how does Job's accusers come across to you in this lesson scripture? Number two, how would you describe Job's soul after reading this scripture? Number three, what does it mean for God to be Job's and your Redeemer? Number four, whom did Job say he would see in his flesh? Make sure to review, make sure to review Job 19 verses 1 through 7 for question 1. A natural response to trusting God is hopefulness. We should not try to force ourselves into an artificial faith, but we should let the Spirit do His work in us. When God is present in us, we do sense hope. We may not understand hopefulness fully, but it is a response of trust in the Lord. Spend time writing down just for yourself some things you are hoping for from God. Throughout this week, pray that you will trust God to answer your hopes. The memory verse for today's lesson, For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And that's Job chapter 19 verse 25. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.